Welcome to Family Harmony with Sensitive Children. What does Family Harmony mean to you? What does the vision of Family Harmony look like for you and your family? Part of my life purpose is to help empower children of all ages. Like everyone, I have sometimes struggled in my life to heal myself and my past experiences. While that is part of the human condition, and everything is ultimately a gift, I believe that if there is a way to receive our lessons more gently, then I'm all for it. (laughs) How does that sound to you? That's what my book, Family Harmony with Sensitive Children, is all about. Honoring who you really are in body, mind, and spirit. The whole person. While the book contains information about achieving ADHD wellness and family harmony, the family harmony section of the book pertains to all families who wish to find a harmonious way of relating regardless of whether or not you have a child with symptoms labeled as ADHD or something else. Let me ask you some questions. Are there patterns of behavior in your family that cause conflict? Do they seem to be passed down from one generation to the next? Are there battles in your household over the littlest things sometimes? Do you struggle to find time for yourself to recharge? Has the romance waned a little since the kids arrived? Do you or other family members numb your stress with food, drink, or other unhealthy behaviors to avoid dealing with it? Have money issues come between you and your loved ones? Are you willing to change a little to achieve family harmony? What if you and your family could get to the bottom of that which causes problems for all of you? What if Getting in touch with your intuition and helping your children do the same could open doors to miraculous results and opportunities. What if one groundbreaking book could change your life? Albert Einstein said that the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. This movie projector is a metaphor for who you, your family, and all human beings truly are. We are each a soul of light, or energy as modern science calls it. All that comes out of the projector is light. You cannot see cars, people, trees, houses, or anything physically tangible in the light. However, on the movie screen you can see all of those things and so much more. That is a metaphor for your life, the lives of every human being, and the entire world. The only things that can appear on the screen of your life are those people, things, and experiences that can make it through the filters of your mind, both your conscious and unconscious mind. Your filters are made up of beliefs, emotions, unforgiveness, fear by many names, and shadow aspects, otherwise known as disowned qualities, those things that were shamed out of you and that you hid to protect yourself. If you believe something is impossible, consciously or unconsciously, it will never show up in your life. It won't make it through your filters. If, however, you believe something is possible and you have no limiting or conflicting beliefs, emotions, forgiveness issues, or shadow aspects to block it, you can be, feel, and do what it takes to create it and it or something better will appear on the movie screen of your life, eventually. Know that anything is possible if you believe it. Do your healing work and take inspired action, unless it goes against the laws of the universe. For example, gravity is a law on this planet, but Wilbur and Orville Wright found a way around it. They believed they could and did what it took to make it happen. And today we have the airplane. (laughs) The same is true of our world. There are collective agreements and beliefs that exist that you choose to buy into or not that create your worldview. 
Some are so strong and have been in place for so long that you and others may not even think to question them. For example, in Christopher Columbus's day they thought the earth was flat. Questioning collective beliefs is how change for the better happens, individually and for the collective. Following your intuition, no matter what you are told by anyone or anything outside of you, is how change begins to happen in your life. That's what the Wright brothers did. Family harmony with sensitive children is a result of a lifetime of training and experience. My goal, and the goal of the book and my other programs, are to help you and your children achieve what you would really like to have in your lives whatever that means to all of you. Much of the ADHD information has been extracted from the book and provided as free resources at thegiftofyou.com. A Facebook page entitled ADHD Children is available to share new information as I find it. A link to that page is also on thegiftofyou.com. Can you imagine a world filled with children of all ages who have been taught as many tools as possible to help them navigate life's challenges from a young age? A world where when something happens to them, a child or an adult can just go into their backpack of knowledge and pull out a loving and empowering tool for healing? All of this begins one person and one family at a time. It can begin with you. It doesn't matter what your family situation or setup may be. It doesn't matter if you all live in the same location. It doesn't even matter if you all still speak to each other. What matters is your willingness to heal. No matter what your situation may be, peace and harmony are within your reach. It begins inside of you. Are you willing? If you would like to explore this information beyond the book, I offer workshops, personal and group programs, as well as keynote speaking engagements. I invite you to visit thegiftofyou.com to learn more, access the free resources, and download the media kit on the speaking page. I hope to meet you soon. Enjoy infinite blessings.